If you think yoga is this kind of vegan, hippie, trendy LA thing, then I'd like to tell you that I think you're very wrong. And that's why my fit tip number 19 for 2018 is to practice yoga. Now, yoga has many different forms, different styles. Some are very meditative. Some are a little bit more chanting and just a few simple postures. Some are really just geared towards gaining muscle, doing a little bit of cardio activity. It varies across the world too how it's practiced. It's gonna be practiced a lot different in the United States than it is probably in other parts of the world. So I'm gonna talk specifically to things like Iyengar yoga, hot yoga, um, Bikram, uh, power yoga, things that you would kind of find in studios across LA, or even tons of videos on YouTube. There's a lot of great YouTubers that make some really good yoga videos. So I personally don't practice any type of meditation yoga, anything like that. I use yoga primarily for stretching and just helping to kind of get blood flowing, especially as like an active rest kind of day. So some of the reasons I suggest that you take up yoga this year, even if it's just once a week, number one would be for the stretching benefits. Stretching is incredibly important for you, especially if you're doing weightlifting, because all of that heavy weights, that really tenses up your muscles, makes everything really tight. And if you don't take time to stretch out your muscles, you're gonna end up with shortened muscles that can't perform as properly, tight areas, and as soon as muscles get really tight, they start to pull on different things especially around the spine, around the knee, that's where it becomes the most uncomfortable and people end up with chronic back pain, knee pain, all kinds of issues because of tight muscles that are pulling. So you wanna keep your muscles really loose, supple, flexible, and not only do you wanna do that for the sake of your muscles feeling well and being able to push hard in the gym, but it's really important as we age to keep all of our muscles and spine and everything really flexible. A lot of yoga poses are geared towards keeping a suppleness and a flexibility in the spine because that whole core spine area gets really tight. And as you know, millions of people suffer from chronic low back pain as well as upper back pain. And so yoga with all of its flexing, bending, inversions, twists is meant one, to help you detox your body with all the twisting and compression on organs but also to keep some looseness in the spine to help avoid pain. There are a lot of scientific studies that show that yoga actually helps to reduce and prevent lower back pain, if not completely heal it. So that's a really great place to start before you just go to a doctor and pursue surgery or something like that. Of course, it depends on the type of back pain you have and what the issue is, but this is a great place to start if you just kind of have that general tightness and pain in your lower back to practice yoga on a regular basis and see if that doesn't help. I personally have some low back pain and this is one of the things that I do regularly and one of the reasons why I practice yoga, yoga regularly is to keep those muscles loose. In my lower back pain, a lot of it is tied to tight hips and tight glute muscles and so a lot of the stretches and poses in yoga are, are um, shaped in a way they're going to do a lot of things, but one of the things they're going to do is stretch out and strengthen those areas. And stretching and strengthening areas around the lower back is really going to help to reduce and prevent pain. It's also great for every other part of the body, your shoulders, your chest, your back, to keep everything really nice and loose. So that's the main reason I would suggest supplementing it into your regular workout routine and cardio routine to keep your body feeling good, strong, supple. It's also a good way to just kind of gently tone your muscles. If you don't want to do things like heavy weightlifting or you're having a rough week, like I will take a week sometimes completely off of weightlifting, just do some cardio and yoga just to give my body a break. Then when I go back to the gym, I'm a lot stronger. I can push harder. I can lift weights better because I'm not dealing with all these little aches and pains and those muscles have gotten more stretched out. And so then they're able to perform better in the gym because I have that full range of motion in the muscle and I'm not limited by tightness that's come from working out with heavy weights and pushing my body and all the intense things that we do in the gym. Yoga is also known for a bunch of other health benefits like lowering high cholesterol, helping to control diabetes, helping with weight management, and helping with mindful eating, which is part of the reason why it helps with weight loss and managing your weight is that you tend to become more mindful of what you're eating. I know a lot of times, for whatever reason, I'll leave a yoga class and I will just feel like 
drinking tea and eating vegetables and sushi or just really clean raw foods. So yoga is really good for mindfulness, becoming more aware of your body, of how you feel. It's also very focused on breathing, breath control, which is part of what helps you be mindful. That breathing is also very healthy for you and it's very calming. So it's one of the reasons that yoga is known to reduce stress. It's a really good stress reducer and manager. And I know we can all use more of that helping to deal with stress in our busy, crazy world. So my tip to you this year is in addition to things like cardio and working out at the gym, which are very important for muscle tone and cardiovascular health, to add on yoga as part of your routine, maybe on a day that you wanna take some rest from the gym or it's on your rest day, to just do some gentle yoga to stretch out your body, keep the blood flowing, reduce stress, improve your breathing, bring some calmness into your life and help your body to just overall feel a lot better. So I hope that is helpful to you. If you have questions about specific types of yoga, um, what's best, anything else um, that you would like to know. I'm not a yoga expert, but I do know quite a bit and I've taken quite a variety of classes, so I would be happy to help you with those questions. Until the next Fit Tip video, good luck on your fitness journey.